So we are continuing the protozoa part. The next topic is trypanosoma. Trypanosoma, there are two things. Trypanosoma brucei and trypanosoma cruci. Trypanosoma cruci and trypanosoma brucei. B-R-U-C-E-I. Brucei. So this, before going to the topic, let's see, by see the picture itself, you would try to identify. This is, this picture, this one is the redoid bug. Redoid bug or also called kissing, our favorite kissing bug. Kissing, I'll give you the clue, don't worry, okay? Kissing bug. This is the trypano, trypano mastigotes. The causative agent of both trypanosoma. So, okay, for both it looks like this only. And this is a sign called Romano sign. Romano, Romano sign. Romano sign is basically swelling around the eye. You see the swelling around the eye, okay? We're going to talk about that also now in a while, Romano sign. And what is this? This is for Cruci, you said it's ready with bug. For Brucey, it is what? CC. CC, T silent, CC fly. We call it a CC fly. Okay, CC fly. And this one, this one, what you're seeing here, this is the, this is the, this is the cervical enlargement, which is called winter bottom sign. Winter bottom sign. Winter bottom sign. B for B, Bruce Lee, Brucey bottom. Okay, right. Now next, now next go to individual. So, uh, how to remember I'll give you a shortcut. It's very easy. I love this topic, in fact. So this is the first one is Tripoma Cruz is basically Tom Cruise. Remember Tom Cruise, okay? Remember our actor, you know, Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise. And this one will be your Bruce Lee. Brucella, Bruce Lee also is here. One more Bruce Lee here also, okay? So Tom Cruise ka kya kya pasand hai? First of all, you know, he's from Vegas. Vegas. Okay, Vegas se hai. So iska matlab kya hai? Vegas means? The disease name is Chagas. Vegas ko Chagas banado. Bas. Chagas disease. Chagas disease is caused by Tom Cruise. C for CB, a clue. A -A you forgot also. Trypanosoma Cruise means Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise is from Vegas. Vegas means Chagas. Vegas, Chagas. They sound similar. Okay. That is also called American. He's from America. He's an American actor. That's what it's American trypanosomia says. Okay, America. Number two, you know, he's always ready. He's always ready to kiss. Ready to kiss. Iska matlab kya hai? The bug name is called redu with bug, otherwise kissing bug. Redu with bug or kissing bug. See how easy. Redu with or kissing bug. Ho gaya. What is the sign? Mena bhi upar dekha hai Around swelling around the eye. That is called Romano sign. Romano sign. Romano sign. Because Tom Cruise is romantic. Tom Cruise is romantic. Okay. Romana romantic. Okay. So Vegas ready to kiss. Red with bug or kissing bug and romantic. And other thing, everything is big for him. He is a muscular guy, right? So, you know, he is a gym guy. So, everything is big, big, big for him. Okay. Arms, they are big, big. I mean to say, everything is mega. Everything is big or mega for Tom Cruise. So, his ka madhav kya hai? What is we? It will be the pay. He is having what? He is having mega colon. He's having mega esophagus, mega colon, mega esophagus, and myocarditis is also called megali, megali, cardiomegaly, uh, megali, okay, cardiomegaly. He has cardiomegaly or myocarditis. Also, one more disease called chagoma, chagas, chagoma. Okay, he have this. That's it. Okay, very simple. Question is frequently asked from here. You have swelling of heart, esophagus, and colon. Not other things. Not, not splenomegaly, not hepatomegaly. No, no. Please remember that, okay? Heart swelling, esophagus swelling, colon swelling. Bas, eight, you know what? Okay, then chagoma. And trypomastigot, you can see the peripheral May I show you the picture. What about Brucey? Brucey, okay. Cruz ko take story ho gaya. So, Brucey ko take story banana aata hai. We have to make a story for Bruce Lee also, na? So, Bruce Lee ka kya pasand? He likes sleeping too much. Kya kate Bruce Lee? Jab Bruce Lee, whenever he goes with his, uh, his girlfriend, he went to Africa. He went to Africa to see, see, see his girlfriend, Glossy. Glossy. His girlfriend name is 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 Sleeping sickness. Aa gaya. He got sleeping sickness. Okay. Don't, don't continue with that Bruce Lee. That Bruce Lee, Bruce Lee, there he was going to Malta, Mediterranean, Undulant, Uganda. So all those fevers, that Bruce Lee, that is a different story. Right, Castinada. He's going to Andhra Castinada also. So that's a different Bruce Lee, but the bacteria Bruce Lee. Here, Tripanosoma Bruce Lee is our another the same Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee. When Bruce Lee goes to Africa to see his girlfriend Glossy, he gets sleeping sickness. Ye kya hai? Iska matlab kya hai? So iska matlab, it causes first of all it causes sleeping sickness. It's otherwise also called African Tripanosomiasis. And the the fly name is the CC T silent T 
you say C C play, C C play, T T is silent, two T is silent. So that's why see C C C is girlfriend. His name is Glossina. His name is Glossina, Glossina, Glossy, Glossy. His girlfriend is Glossy. That's what a question. And the typical sign is winter bottom sign. His winter person is Bruce Lee likes winter, so bottom B. Bruce Lee also can remember like B for B. Okay, or winter bottom sign. So this is winter bottom sign. So don't forget about water can pernium and uh, water prediction syndrome. Yada hai, water can pernium, which STD? Gonococcus, gonococcus. Water prediction syndrome is in the meningococcus. So this is all in my bacteria part. You can see it. Okay, just please bring this because it's W and they're W. So these things, you know, just trying to, I'm trying to bring it coordination. Okay, okay. So trypanomastic, you see the preference me for both. That's it. So this is what trypanosoma. Very simply, Tom Cruise and Bruce Lee. Hoggy up the topic. So you don't have to think too much at all. Don't waste time in uh, studying microbiology for, you know, 10, 10 hours, 10, 10 days or whatever. Make it easy. Just go with me. You will, you will crack all the questions for sure. Okay. Next is a plasmodium. When you say plasmodium means it is malaria. There is no doubt yeah right because malaria is caused by malaria is caused by your plasmodium malaria so you know there are five species at least what are they they are uh, vivax ovale falciparum malaria and novelcy novelcy is a new one uh, not much uh, uh, common but then only thing they might ask novelcy care for kerala Novelcy is common in Kerala. Okay, it has started in Kerala only few cases, but not that much spread it. So, of course, the most common one, you know, it is your falciparum and your vivax in India. Both are equally important. Okay, one, one like this, they are balanced, okay, but they are the most common one. Most common one are these two. You know that one. Next, uh, what are the fever they cause? Malaria, okay, but what fever? See, vivax, ovale, and falciparum, they cause what fever? Tertian. Tertian fever. Tertian means T for three. Every third day. Every third day they have fever. So that's what tertian fever. That malignant tertian is falciparum. Falciparum is severe. That's what we call as malignant. Malignant. Vivax and ovale we call as benign. Yeah. Malignant tertian fever. But overall they got tertian fever. Tertian not that. Tertian malignant. Tertian, tertian malignant. Falciparum is, is malignant. Malignant. Because severe is always what? Your falciparum. You know that one. And malaria causes what? Quadrant. Quartan fever. Quartan means pata, it's fourth. So, so fever is always at the fourth day. Fourth day or after 72 hours. The same meaning, no? Fourth day. Third day or after every 48 hours. Fourth day or after 72 hours. That's the same meaning only. So, you know, the world's uh, uh, malaria day is April 25th. It's a PSM question. 25th, April 25th. Now, let's go to infective stage. These are important points. Now, what are we going to discuss now? For men, which is the infective stage? It should be new. Spot. Men ko kiss, kisses up. You will infect the men with what? You will kill the men with the spear sporozoite. Okay. Spear is a shortcut, but ideally it's a sporozoite. I remember like the spear. You spear say spear te say okay. Spear say kya karugi? You kill the men. Spear say you kill the men. Okay. So man ke infective stage is spear, sporozoite. Okay, sporozoite. Spear or sporozoite. I say sporozoite. Okay. Sporozoite only. Spear, sporozoite. Rarely it's trophozoite. Trophozoite, of course, you know, already seen the you know, patient's blood months. You can do to blood transfusion or during mother to child, the trophozoite can go. That's also another possibility. It has been asked some exams. Okay, trophozoite also, but I least sporozoite. For mosquito, it is your gametocyte. For mosquito infection, it is gametocyte. Mosquito, when we bite, karta hai, it gives the trophozoite to us and it takes gametocyte. Okay, right? Yeah, it was either one of them. Now the life cycle. Definite host. So definite host is of course mosquito. Yeah, there are three. You, if you remember, uh, definite host. We talk about a definite host. Usually, men is definite host, but there are three exceptions. What are three exceptions? HMT, HMT watch. Okay, as a color HMT watch. In in HMT watch, man is intermediate host. Man becomes intermediate. Man becomes intermediate host. So man become intermediate host means. So what are these organisms where man is intermediate host? H four. Which one highlighted? Hydrated. Hydrated cyst may dog is the definite host. We are coming there. And M for malaria. We are talking now. Malaria may definite host is your mosquito. And other one T for toxoplasma. That also we are going to talk now. Toxo, toxoplasma. Toxoplasma. Okay. So now the definite host is which one? Mosquito. Which mosquito? Question frequently asked. You know, it is your female anopheles mosquito. Female anopheles. Female anopheles mosquito. Okay. Female anopheles mosquito. You know that one. Okay. Female anopheles mosquito. So why we say uh, definite host? Definite host means that there is what? There is a sex cycle. There is usually sex cycle. That's what we call it as a uh, definite host. Intermediate means there is a what? Asexual cycle. They have asexual cycle is happening. That's what intermediate host. So intermediate host is man. So okay, the, the three important is HMT watch is the shortcut. For HMT, man is the 
intermediate host. Okay. Hydratrisis, malaria, toxoplasma gondii. Okay. Fine. We are going there. Now, the cycle. The cycle is two cycles. You know, when we uh, plasmodium, when uh, plasmo, uh, plasmodium enters inside a body, what happened? Two cycles. It has first one liver cycle, that is the pre erythrocytic, another one is the RBC cycle. The cycle happens inside the RBC. Okay. So let's go to the picture. So it's a pre erythrocytic cycle and the erythrocytic cycle. So this is the picture. This picture will explain you everything. So what happened? First of all, the anopheles mosquito is biting you. Female anopheles, not the male anopheles. Because male anopheles who feeds on the plant juice. It, it, uh, for food, it takes the plant juice. Females are dangerous. So female anopheles mosquito, it sucks up blood for its nutrition, for the food. So when it bites the uh, human blood, now what happened? You know, as we told, sporozoite is infective state. You know, sporozoite. Aapko sporozoite kya ho jayega? It will enter into your body, blood, see the liver. The first stage is in the liver. So first stage in the liver. When it enters into the liver, what happened? It, these uh, sporozoids, they go and infect the uh, liver cells, hepatic cells, and become two things. Some of them, if it is your, if it is your vivax and ovale, in vivax and ovale, some of them, they become hypnozoids. Rest of them, what they do? They become schizoid. They become a schizoid. Schizoid means the schizoid ke andar kya hota? You have merozoids. So after maturation, the schizoid mature, it becomes bigger and ruptures. Schizoid ruptures, all the merozoites you see here. All the, this is the schizoid ruptures and all the merozoites are coming out. When they come out, your second cycle, that is your RBC cycle. It goes and infects the RBC. When the merozoite infects the RBC, it will go for some stages. What is the first one? Early trophozoite, ring form or early trophozoite, we say. Okay, this is a ring form, early trophozoite. And then it becomes the late trophozoite. Then late trophozoite to a schizoid stage, schizoid, like this, you know, schizoid. And again, the cycle. Again, the schizoid means it has merozoites. Merozoites are released and again, the cycle repeats. But some of them, some of the trophozoites, what happen, they become gametocytes, like this, gametocytes. And this gametocytes become infective stage for your mosquito. Got it? Infective stage for mosquito. That's it. This is the cycle, right? Trophozoite for us and gametocyte is infective stage for mosquito. That's it. Okay. So now this is the cycle. So now what happened? Our diagnosis is based on this part only. Now what we do? We have to blood may. We are going to check for these things. Either you're going to check for the early trophozoite. Early trophozoite. Early trophozoite. Uh, that is the ring stage. Ring form. Or you're checking for the late trophozoite. Or it could be a schizoid. Or it could be a gametocyte. Gametocyte. So you, these are the things in, in your smear. When you take a blood sample, we are going to check for all these four things only. These are the four things we are going to check. Okay. Remember. And especially, remember, in uh, in falciparum, you might not be seeing late and schizoid is not there in falciparum. You will not see it. Okay. You will see only early trophocyte stage or gameto gametocyte. Gametocyte. Okay. This is not gametophyte. Gametocyte. Okay. You will see only the gametocyte in your uh, falciparum stage, either gametocyte or early trophozoite, because what happened, most of this uh, late trophozoite schizoid, they get stuck in the capillaries, in the capillaries, which remains, it doesn't come to the blood. Okay, so now let's go. Effect on the RBCs. So RBCs, as I repeated already, I told you, so whenever you talk about this plasmodium, what happened, it, uh, it takes uh, the hemoglobin for the digestion. Then what happened, it breaks. When it breaks inside, see, in the late or schizoid, it become it produces the pigment. So you can see inside the schizoid or late trophocyte, you can see brown color pigment. Okay, that's one thing. That's a brown pigment. Now there's also RBC membrane producing vacuoles called dots. It produces different type of dots. Okay, the names are important and frequently asked. So now what are the dots name? So very simple. I'll give you the clue. Don't worry. Sharpness dot means it is for plasmodium vivax. James is plasmodium ovale. Moyers is the plasmodium falciparum, falciparum. And Zeman is plasmodium malariae, malariae. Okay, remember, this is important, very, very important question. They'll ask you, Shafnas, how to remember? Vivek ka do girlfriend, Vivek got two girlfriends. Who are they? One is Shafna, one is Shafna, and the other one is uh, Duffy. Duffy se bhi karani jayega. When there's Duffy positive, the risk of vivax is very high. Okay, because the receptor attracts more this thing. So, Shafna, Duffy, Vivek's ka girlfriend ho gaya. Vivek ka girlfriend ho gaya. So, James ka, James ka kya hai? James ka head, no? Uska oval head. Uske paas hai oval head. Ovale, oval head. Okay, he has oval head. Aise yaad kalo. James ke paas oval head hai. Vivek ka do girlfriend hai. Ek Shafna, ek Duffy. Shafna dot Duffy antigen. Uh, the Duffy is going to come. Just remember now, Vivek. Moyers is, see, Moyugo, you know, these are all 
usually like uh, in Burmese and all, you know, they have this name Mao Mao. Mao's are very dangerous. Mao, you know, most Chinese, uh, Burmese, they have, so they are very dangerous. So it is falciparum. Remember, Mao and all, it's like, it's more, you know, dangerous people. It's mostly dangerous people. Mao means it's dangerous people. So when there's dangerous people, it's a plasmodium falciparum. Got it? Falciparum, right. Mao, Mao, dangerous falciparum. Malaria, Z-man. Z-man, you have a flu already. Z-man, malaria. Z-man, malaria. Pass. Okay. Very simple. Okay. So don't confuse the air also. M is there. So don't do Mau. Mau is dangerous or falciparum. Z-man, malaria. Pass. Okay. That's it. Now let's go to reactivation. So for reactivation, we have two phases. Relapsing phase and recurrence phase. We have relapses. Malaria is relapsed. Reoccurrence. Basically, reactivation means once again, you after the infection, again, you're getting infection. So two, it could be a, a relapse or it could be a recurrence. So now we'll talk about the relapse. Relapse is seen usually to where plasmodium vivax and your plasmodium ovale. Question, question, question. Why? Because I told you whenever the um, the spores that enter into the liver, some of them would have been transferred into hypnozoid. Hypno, hypnozoid. See, these are important questions. Very important. Malaria itself is an important topic and these every point is a golden point. So you have to know. Okay, so vivax and OLA, so after three years, that's due to hypnozoids. Hypnozoids, something remains dormant in the liver. So now what happened? Treatment, uh, you, uh, what, what is the drug we're giving for hypnozoid? To kill the hypnozoid, we give Prima Queen, Prima, Prima Queen. Prima Queen is the drug of choice for killing the dormant hypnozoids. Okay, so for 14 days, you can give or uh, uh, Tefinoquine. Tefinoquine is also good. So Queen and drug, Tefinoquine also good. They kill all the gametocytes, all species. But yeah, you remember Prima Queen is a main drug or Tefinoquine. Okay, Tefinoquine. Next is your recrudescence. Recrudescence is different. Recrudescence happens because of drug resistance. That's because of drug resistance. So you can guess. Kiss is the dangerous. Eh? Mao is a Mao is dangerous. That means Plasmodium falciparum is dangerous. So Plasmodium falciparum. Recrudescence is in the falciparum. Falciparum. Okay, it's very common in the Plasmodium falciparum. So now what happens? The drug resistant parasites, now they get reactivated. See, the, the, you, you're trying to treat it. It's getting uh, resistant. So that means what? The, 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 the plasmodium which is hiding, just after treatment, after treatment for somewhat it will be fine. Again, after three weeks, the patient will have this fever sweating symptoms. Why? Even after treatment, why is it? Because the drug was resistant. It was not working. So some of them remain there. This plasmodium is very, uh, plasmodium falciparum is very the cunning so just get activated and form that's what we have recrudescence dangerous one okay you got it both are relapses in the vivax and ovale but your recrudescence is in the falciparum don't forget okay now immunity immunity uh you have immunity a uh, sickle cell uh sickle cell anemia uh, uh, i mean to say poor uh protected see your sickle cell when you when the patient is having sickle cell when he's having thalassemia fetal hemoglobin or g6 period deficiency these are the things where the rbc is abnormal rbc becomes abnormal right it's not normal so what happened it is protected from plasmodium falciparum plasmodium falciparum will not attack uh, it will not attack if, you, if the patient is having sickle cell or thalassemia it will not attack it's a problem but you remember one bacteria which likes sickle cell anemia and it causes osteomyelitis, salmonella. Okay, one salmonella is there that likes sickle cell. Yeah, but falciparum doesn't like sickle cell patient or thalassemia patients or uh, this G6 PD deficiency, any, anything related with the RBC abnormality. Okay, now one antigen, if you remember, I told you, your girlfriend is Duffy, Duffy, Duffy. When Duffy antigen is negative, it is protected from which one? Vivax, Vivax, Vivax. If it's negative, negative means it's protected, it's not attacking. So what? If Duffy positive means this malaria will occur. That means Duffy is needed for that. That's what Duffy is girlfriend of Vivax. Remember, Duffy positive will go dangerous. I mean, if it's positive, Vivax will go more. If it's negative, then no problem. It will not go. Okay, that's that's important. That's it. Okay, you got it. So these are the two, so teaching uh, some of the common, 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 uh, you know, confusing things, but important things. Okay, remember, clinical feature, as you know, malaria means it's a fever, fever, febrile paroxysms with night sweats, uh, sweating is very common with splenomegaly and anemia. Okay, when, when the fever happens, usually when there is release of mirosis, when the mirosis release, it will happen automatically. Okay, that's one thing. Now, complication. Now, go for complication. Uh, complication of malaria, but so usually uh, malaria, I mean, the, the most dangerous one is falciparum only. So complications also common in falciparum only. Okay, so there are a lot of things, you know, because uh, it. Uh, uh, the, I'll show you some of the diagnosed things because this falciparum attacks all RBCs. Doesn't affect any young or old. It affects every RBC. That's one of the main reasons why 
you have severe complication and the recrudescence is another problem. So all that's what falciparum is very, very dangerous. So what are the symptoms you can expect? You can expect an algate malaria that's almost shock-like syndrome, number one. Patient can have, if you get cerebral malaria, patient can have seizure and coma, very common. Renal failure, one thing, and also hemoglobinuria. When you have hemoglobinuria, you know that one frequent last question is called what? Black water fever, black water fever. This question also is asked, okay? Black water fever, don't forget. Color color urine you see in the PSGN. You remember, right? post streptococcal post streptococcal glomerular nephritis, you are seeing cola color urine, cola color, cola color urine. Okay, but here it is black water urine. That's it, okay? Remember, black water fever. Ah, now, uh, not a black, uh, not a black fever. Black fever is colors are here. It's a black water fever. That's important, okay? Because of hemoglobin urea. Remember, don't confuse, okay? Yeah, and black death is plague, okay? Black fever, black death, and black water fever. So these are the black, black, black people. Okay, yeah. Now, no diagnostic part. Important diagnostic part. If you see microscopic, we make uh, two types of smears. We have thick smear and thin smear. Thick smear means the smear call uh, the, the the when you're making the so if, if this is your smear, uh, let's say you are made, this is a thick smear. And that's a thin smear. Okay. So what do you do? You take the blood. You take the drop of the blood. You just put a drop and leave it to dry. Just like that. Aki drop mein you'll put a, you'll wash it. You'll wash it uh, with the water on it and you'll see. That means same thickness. Thick hota hai. This will be very thick. Okay. But thin smear, what you do? You just put a blood and you're just sweeping it away. Like you, you just, sweep, so with another slide, you're just sweeping it away to make it very thin. That's it. Thick me kya hota? You can just count the plasmodium. You can just count, you can count the quantity. You can count the quantity or severity. You can say quantity, severity of the plasmodium can be thin. You can count it, but you can't speciate. Up nahi bol sakte, this is a bivax or OLA or this thing. You can't say thick. Thick me, you will see only the quantifying. You can just see whether there is plasmodium or not. That's it. Okay, sensitive test. But in thin smear, you can identify, you can species, the species can be identified, you can speciate. Aap bol sakti ho, sep ka basis mein, pigment ka basis mein, dots ka basis mein, you can say that this is a falciparum or ovale or vivax or malaria, you can say that that's the important thing. Thin smear mein, speciation can happen, okay? That's obvious, so that can be a question, okay, question. Now stains, you, what do you call, you overall, all this, the gymsa is a common stain. When you talk about parasites, gymsa is a common stain we're using. But again, in gymsa, they all come under one big group called Romanowski. 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 Romanowski stain. Remember, it's important. Romanowski may we have the stain names are Jimsa, Lishman, Wright, and JSB. JSB is Indian author, Jasmine Singh Bhattacharya. So they are all the people who found this. Uh, they are types of Romanowski stains. Okay, they all come under Romanowski stain. That could be a question. And you can use a fluorescent microscope, very popular nowadays. Fluorescent microscope, so we call it as a buffet coat method. Buffet coat method is basically you take the capillary tube, you fill the blood, and when you fill the blood and leave it, you know, there, there's a separation of layer, RBC layer separate, up, uh, uh, neutrophil separate, everything gets separated. And somewhere there, where this RBC layer there, there you put this, you, you that, that uh, capillary is actually coated with what? What stain? Acridine orange. Acridine, it's a fluorescent, acridine orange. Like for your um, fungus, calcofluor white. For uh, TB kelia, auramin, rhodamin. For your malaria, plasmodium, it is acridine orange. Okay, acridine orange. Don't forget. That's the question. So now then rapid malaria. That's these are the test. You smear is the gold. Smear is the best. Smear is the best. Okay. That's the way you will identify everything. And smear again, thin smear for speciation and thick smear. And then your fluorescent. And for rapid test, what you do is that card test. So card test may also important question asked. What is the card test? In the card, we have this HRP2 protein, histidine rich protein 2, histidine rich protein 2, HRP2, frequent as. This is specific for plasmodium falciparum. Plasmodium falciparum. Only falciparum, falciparum is positive, then it will come positive. But LDH and aldolase is there, they're not specific. That can be for any plasmodium. Any plasmodium, remember. Any plasmodium. Uh, usually in India, maybe it's for vivax and falciparum we are checking. Okay, so it's it's common, common for both. But HRP2 is specific for falciparum. That's also a question. HRP2 is specific for falciparum, but LDH and all is for any plasmodium. Okay. Now, PCR. Uh, PCR is PCR. And culture may RPMI1. This question can be asked. 1640 RPMI. They might ask this. Basically, so Rosewall Park Memorial Institute. You don't remember the complete name. Just RPMI. RPMI is culture. It's rare it's for research purpose. We don't usually do. We always, the most common thing for malaria we are doing is smear, smear, smear. Thick smear, thin smear. That's it. Okay. And fluorescent microscope is recently popular and rapid test. That's it. Now, species identification. So in your smear, how do you identify? How to identify? So these are some points you must know. You must know. In Vivax, 
I told Vivex usually RBC is enlarged. Ideally, RBC is not enlarged. It's just because it's affecting the young RBCs. It is affecting the young RBCs. Okay. Viva, Vivek is young. If you remember, Vivek is young. That's what he has two girlfriends. Kone Kone, Shafna and Duffy. Shafna and Duffy. He's young. But Plasporium may say nahi hai because it affects all RBCs. All RBCs are affected. That's what it is dangerous and severe. Remember this important point. Don't forget Vivek is a good guy, but Plasporium is a bad guy. It affects all RBC. Vivek affects only young RBC and young girls, Shafna and Duffy. Okay. Now, a call is something, a call is like a headphone forms which is not present in your Vivax, but you see it in Falciparum. That's the question. Like this. See, you see this, right? These all are like, you see it looks like a earphone. It looks like a earphone. That's our a call form. So, a call forms are common in Falciparum. All these fancy fancy things happens in your Falciparum only. Okay. Now, if you see a gametocyte, you can have this picture. If you see anything oval with this, you know, center, Excuse me, the pigments and everything. Uh, uh, excuse me. Okay, and if you see like this, this is a pigment there, bronchial pigment, and here round and large like this. If you get those are the gametocytes of your vivax oval. That means gametocyte is circle to oval in shape. But if it is like this, what shape is this? A banana, a banana shape or crescent shape gametocyte. If you see, that is your falciparum. Again, falciparum is bananas. Falciparum is bananas. You have earphone, banana, all the special things happens in falciparum, the dangerous, dangerous one. Okay. Rings. Rings also, uh, rings is a bit uh, different here because the young RBCs, I told you, that means here the rings, the trophozoid, the rings are really uh, large rings. They are uh, single, actually single. Vivek is single. Okay. Single. Vivek is single. Remember, Vivek is single. Vivek is Young and single. So young RBC and is single. So large ring will be there. But here, multiple rings. You can see multiple rings. Falciparum is always many, many, many multiple rings. Okay, that's it. So these are the important things. So if you forget also, see, the shortcut for falciparum is BMR. Of course, it's a severe, dangerous one. So you will get BMR when you get a, uh, this thing. So what does the BMR stand for? B for banana. I told you, banana-shaped gametocyte. Banana-shaped gametocyte. Gametocyte. M for all the way to the dangerous mau, 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 Moyers dot. Okay, Moyers dot, Moyers dot. And A for a coliform, a coliform. And another A for B, mar, mar. A for all RBCs, all RBC stages are affected. And re for recrudescence, recrudescence. Okay, not the relapse. Relapse is for Vivax and Ovale, recrudescence. So this is, these five points are golden points. That's very important. Question can ask from your falciparum. Falciparum means BMR, bus BMR. Okay, that's what patient is having what hemoglobinuria, black water fever, algid malaria, cerebral malaria. Yes, sare apka falciparum mein aega. Got it? Very simple. Malaria is very easy topic. So don't uh, mix it up. Give, give, you have to read. There's no other option. So ovale malaria, we're not going to talk, it's not that important. But one thing they might ask you see this band form gametocyte. Band form gametocyte, if it comes, that is characteristic for your. Uh, plasmodium malaria, plasmodium malaria. Okay, Zeman's dot also. You remember Zeman's dot, and also the band form, band form malaria. Zeman likes band or oh, malaria, malaria. Okay, plasmodium malaria means common like this. You can see a band like appearance. Okay, that's it. Then management, of course, you know the treatment. I'm not going to touch, I'm not going to take so much about it. So prophylaxis is usually two doses. You give two doses before journey and the entire, uh, whenever you're traveling, patient is traveling to India or Africa, wherever malaria is common, he has to take two doses before journey. He has to take two, two doses before journey. And then entire stay, when he's in India, he has to take every time. He has to continue the medication. And after leaving the country, when he goes back to his country, four weeks in his home country also. Okay, two dose, continuous and four weeks. For four weeks, you have to take the medication. That's it. Okay. If the duration of the stay is less than six weeks, you go with the doxy. Okay. We are talking about prophylaxis here. And if it's more than six weeks, mefloquine. Once a week, dose is enough. Uh, uh, doxy daily. D4D, doxy daily. But mefloquine once a week. Once a week. Okay. Weekly once. So treatment. Treatment for Vivax, you know, whenever it's Vivax, still chloroquine, especially chloro, chloro, Chloroquine. Okay. Chloroquine. So chloroquine in normal patient in pregnancy, we are going to give what? Chloroquine. Okay. Pregnancy. Because it's safe. For falciparum, we have to give ACT therapy. ACT oral. ACT oral we are going to give. And also for uh, oral normal patient and for uh, uh, you give quinine for pregnant ladies. Okay. Remember that. Okay. Chloroquine, if it's Vivax, chloroquine is sufficient in pregnancy. That question is asked in pregnancy for Vivax. But if it is the 
pregnant ladies, you're going to give quinine. You're going to give quinine. That's it. Okay, remember that. And act for normal patient. Act is basically what? Atimcinin atim plus sulfadoxin pyrimethamine combination for all the states except northeast. Okay, we'll talk about that. So, but if it is severe, if it's severe, if it's severe, you got cerebral malaria or, you know, if already patient is having black water fever, you will give IV atisunate plus oral act. Both are important. IV atisunate and oral act. Both you must give. Okay, that's it. So this is important. So that means in Northeast state, what we are going to do, Northeast state, we are going to give artemisinin and lumiprantin, lumiprantin, okay? Artemisinin and lumiprantin, artemisinin and lumiprantin. That's it, Northeast failure. Got it? This is the treatment. Very simple chloroquine, ka, okay? Don't confuse. Chloroquine for uh, the virus, falciper means act. Act should be there, quinine for pregnancy. And severe, to uske saath, you give uh, oral acting, artesunate you give. That's it. Okay, Northeast Kalia, Artemisin plus Lumiprantin. That's it. Okay, right. This you will learn. Babesia, Babesiosis. Babesiosis is next topic. Malaria, why with malaria, Babesia? Mal Babesia is some, it's rare in India. It's very, very rare. But it is something which mimics like malaria. Baby gets malaria. Remember that attack. Aapka baby, baby gets what? Malaria. Okay, baby gets malaria. So malaria, she gets fine, which is transmitted by which one? Exodus, exodus, tick, 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 exodus, tick, okay, exodus, tick, remember, it's fancy, tick, tick, baby, okay, tick, tick, baby, so tick, tick, baby is one thing, tick, remember, so tick, but exodus, tick, exodus, tick, also seen in which fever, if you remember, Lyme's disease also, yeah, the color, the question will come there also, or here, you can expect wherever, I don't know, they will ask you, okay, exodus, tick is for baby, also for Lyme's disease, baby and Lyme's, baby and Lyme's, okay, okay, so baby, Lyme, don't know, the same, same, Jim sustain. So baby ka kya pasand hai? Baby likes what? What she likes to wear? She likes to wear a beautiful, kya, this is a baby. Okay, this is a baby, the beautiful baby. Uska kya hai? She wears a cross. What cross? Maltese cross. Maltese cross. This question is asked. Where you see Maltese cross? Maltese cross is seen in babies. Yeah, baby wears Maltese cross. Baby gets Tick, 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 so it's tick by and baby is looking like malaria. So this is the one. You see this picture. When you see this picture, this cross, this cross, what you're seeing like this, no, this is the, this is, this is the cross. Okay. This is the one you're seeing. So this is a catastrophic picture for the babesiosis. Okay. Got. Now the next one, the last protozoa, Toxoplasma gondi. Toxoplasma gondi. It's also very easy. Toxoplasma gondi comes under torch infection. You know, torch means it is toxoplasma, R for rubella, C for CMV cytomegalovirus, and then H for herpes. Definite host is, I told you, HMT group. HMT means man is intermediate host. So man comes in intermediate host. And in man, I want to stress pregnant. Pregnant ladies and HIV patients. They are common in pregnancy and HIV patients very common. And definite host is what? Your cat. Cat, cat. That is a question. Okay, cat. Remember, okay, in malaria, it was the anaphylis mosquito was the definite host. But here it is the cat because sexual cycle happens in the cat. That's what it is, definite host. Intermediate host is man or pregnant woman or HIV. So that's what, if it's a congenital toxoplasma, mother is having, and if a pregnant lady gets accidental, again, pick oral route. Accidentally, you know, the uh, cat's litter, contaminated food or whatever, it goes inside, then the pregnant lady gets. Then when the baby gets toxoplasmosis, what are the things you'll have? Most it affects the brain. You can have calcification, intracerebral classification. You can have chorioretinitis and calcification C, okay, congenital, congenital C, chorioretinitis, calcification, and also hydro or microcephaly. All are important points. You can have question. They can ask you, a lady has exposed to the cat at house, and then she gets symptom, identify what disease or what diagnosis test you will do or not, okay? Okay. But in uh, in AIDS patient, this causes it affects the brain. Again, it affects the brain. You will have a recent ring enhancing lesion and you can have seizures. HIV patients can have seizures. Remember, okay, that's the important one here. Okay, so now diagnostic part. Got it? So it's basically pregnancy, pregnancy, but toxoplasma gondi is very important. Cat is the definite host and uh, congenital, all cerebral calcification, chorioretinitis, chorioretinitis, and what else? Chorioretinitis and your intercerebral calcification and uh, uh microcephaly can happen okay now diagnostic part what you do when you take the blood and you check the characteristic which is tachyzoids you see tachyzoid you see are you seeing this small small this which is looking like this like this you know this like a moon it looks like a moon so these are the tachyzoids is all so you see intracellular extracellular these are the characteristic features tachyzoids you call tachyzoids one is tachyzoid identification from the blood directly jimsa other one is antibody detection you do igm or igg elisa 
And another very, very important is that in ELISA, it's like uh, detecting the antibody only. We are using uh, a special thing called what? Sabin Fieldman. This question is asked many times. Sabin Fieldman Die Test. Sabin Fieldman Die Test. Okay, Sabin Fieldman Die Test. Sabin is clearly, I'm telling you to please remember, Sabina is pregnant. When Sabina was pregnant, pregnant, she got toxoplasma. Okay, Sabina, Sabina, Sabin, Sabina, Sabina is a female, so pregnant, pregnant, the toxoplasma gondi, toxoplasma gondi, hato, diagnosis, Sabin filament titus. Okay, Sabin filament is it's, it's like uh, it's detecting the antibody, but you're, you're, you're mixing it with the methylene blue dye. And then you will see the uh, positive, if the antibody is positive or not. Okay, that's it. And then for congenital, you're going to check what? IgM or IgG. You're going to check the IgM or IgG detection in the Alexa. And treatment important for toxoplasma is definitely important. That is spiramycin. Spiramycin. Okay. That's what toxoplasma is important because in torch, torches is usually screened for pregnant ladies. So in that torches, we are doing this test. Okay. To rule out any congenital anomalies to the to congenital toxoplasma to the baby. Spiramycin is treatment. Okay. That's all. So we are done with the protozoa. All important topics are covered and it's so easy, easy, very easy protozoa. The next will be helminthus. So helminth topic, we'll talk a separate class. So I hope it is uh, useful and uh, it's easy. So go through it again and you will not have any problem. Okay. Thank you guys.